It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, the Chief Investment Strategist and Managing Director here at Payne Capital Management. This week on the Street of Dreams, we had the busiest week of positive quarterly earnings reports, fresh developments in global trade relations, and an historic one-day loss in the stock of Facebook, losing $100 billion in value on Thursday. Ouch. However, the big news of the week was the U.S. economy grew at an annualized rate of 4.1%. This marks the fastest pace of growth for the U.S. economy in any quarter since the third quarter of 2014. Growth was led by a jump in consumer spending, as well as a surge in exports. In addition, first quarter GDP growth was revised upwards to 2.2% from the previously reported 2% number. Now, the market has been frustrating both bulls and bears so far in 2018. For the bulls, there's been lots of good news, record earnings, and a plethora of bullish economic reports. For the bears, there's been plenty of concerns. North Korea, Putin, rising rates and inflation, and a potential trade war. And what has been the impact on the markets with all these different news reports? Well, you can barely get a pulse. There's an old expression on Wall Street, and that expression is, never short a dull market. Of course, what it means to short a market means to bet on the downside. So you never want to short a dull market because remember, in a big booming bull market like we've had over the last nine years, surprises tend to come on the upside. And although the major indices like the Dow and the S&P appear to have flatlined, a stealth bull market has been occurring in plain sight. So far year to date, our small company growth portfolio is up over 13%. Our mid company growth portfolio is up over 10%. And in addition, our large company growth portfolio is closing in on 12% for the year. For anyone out there who thinks that the other sectors or the rest of the market, like value, like international, emerging markets, and commodities, can't catch up or go higher, just remember that all dips in history in every market have been temporary, therefore buying opportunities. And new highs, inevitable. 